Hey guys, thanks for checking in with Mystical Entertainment Group. Just wanted to give you a little rundown of how you go about planning your event with uh, our company. So basically you'd go to our website, mebjs.com, scroll down right to the bottom and you'll see a little VIP member login. You click that link, you could also access the login portal directly with clientlogin.me and you'll get your username and password sent to you automatically upon signing a contract with our company. So here's a test account that we've created uh, just to show you a little rundown of what to expect when you're booking our company. And this is, this is how it looks. So basically you'll have your little planning portion right here. This is where you can put your music requests, your do not plays, your play if possibles, uh, dedication music, dinner music, cocktail hour music. We really break it down and run it uh, you know, pretty, pretty precisely. Um, your event details are located in here. You can also make payments. You have a little countdown to give you a little anxiety. And then any emails that we sent to you are right here. Any upcoming meetings, everything is all centrally located here, so it's just really, really simple. Um, fully mobile, mobile integrated um, to where you can log in on your cell phone and, and really put in music requests as you go uh, throughout the course of the year. So basically you look in here in your email message history and you can see or access any emails that we have sent to you in the past. Um, when you book our company, you'll be able to get a discount on invitations, transportation, photo, video services, hair and makeup, really everything. So once you book us, you unlock some, some really good discounts ac across the board. Um, booking confirmation, the um, finals appointment scheduling, basically our system reminds you to, to work on your login, to gather pictures if you have a photo montage that we're creating and uh, to, to, final, to, to schedule your finals appointment. That's where we go through all the details in this login. So you see right here, this is you know, your, your username and password, all that stuff is located in there. So basically, you know, the next few chapters, we're gonna be breaking it down and showing you each different facet of this login and uh, really breaking it down and showing you guys what to expect throughout the planning process. We like to take a, a finite approach and we believe that if you plan properly, your event's gonna go off Perfectly. Welcome back. This chapter discusses the event details and your uh, your payment portion here at Mystical Entertainment Group. Again, uh, if you didn't see the beginning of the video or any of the other chapters, you can just visit clientlogin.me and use your username and password to access your uh, your login portal. Um, you can also access the login right at the website medjs.com right at the bottom and click on the VIP login link. Um, so here it goes, the event details. This is pretty much gonna be all of uh, everything. Everything's gonna be in here. So sort of like logging into your bank account and seeing everything. So your event start time and end times right here, your location, um, the package that you booked with our company, um, the assigned staff members at your wedding or event. That'll all be located here. And if you book a wedding, you can you book a specific MC, and his name's going to be on your contract as well. So I'll show you that contract also, um, just to run down it. Any payments that um, that you've made will also be located in here. The package that you selected and any add-ons, um, any of the payments that you made will also be listed right there. Your payments, you can make them right in here. I'll show you that in a second. Um, here is your contract. You can actually review your contract right here. So our system allows you to digitally sign it. As long as you digitally sign your contract, it'll be located in your, port your portal right there. Um, to review all of your details, we require a 30% deposit to hold your date, um, and then the final payment is due 10 days before uh, your wedding. Again, this is important right here, entertainer for your event. So if you book a wedding with our company, that specific MC that you selected, his name will be on that contract and you're locked in with uh, with that MC. So that's uh, super duper important. Um, if you notice, there's no sales tax on our DJ services either. Um, hugely important that, um, you know, it's just not something that DJs should uh, charge. Any changes that you would have to make would be done right here. Uh, change of date, you'd have to call it to the office. Change of times would be right over here. And you would submit this. Obviously, you would uh, have to approve it, but the, uh, the locations could change here as well if you needed to. Um, so that is basically 
everything. Um, payments you can do in here as well. This is all implemented through PayPal, so it's totally secure. Um, you can make a payment right in there um, pretty, pretty easily. The only thing with that, the credit card payments online, it uh, requires a 3% transaction fee, um, and it'll be added to your final balance. Um, your profile, all of your information is here, so if you need to change your password, that is also there. If you need to edit contact information, if your cell phone number changed or your address changed, you can change that all within here. You could also contact us directly right within here. And that is the event detail portion of our login system. All right, so everybody, welcome back. We are here explaining our login portal and the um, the importance of basically all the planning that we uh, that goes through making a perfect event. Um, so here we go. You're going to click on Plan My Event. And this portion right up top is where you're going to manage all of your music requests. So basically, if you want to add some music requests, what we've done is we've customized it into different categories. So we're going to start with your cocktail hour music. You can add different notes through this section if you wanted to. Um, your must plays, your play if possibles, your dedications, your do not plays. I think this portion is probably more important because we'll be able to read your crowd. But the do not play portion, you know, if... Um, if you hate a specific artist, like a lot of people are starting to get sick of Pitbull because his songs are on the radio every three seconds, you know what I mean? Whatever whatever you guys hate, even if you don't like participation dances or country music or rap, whatever the case may be, you could be as generic if you want it to be or specific if you want it to be as well. Um, dinner music and down to your last song. So these portions right here, basically, um, we don't want you to give us a million requests. We want to give you, we want you to give us the top songs that you'd like to hear. Um, so your must plays and your play if possible is your dedications. These are the definitely the songs that you definitely want to hear. We don't necessarily want you to plan your entire wedding right there, but, um, or event, but, um, you know, the, the songs that you definitely want to hear, we can work off of that. And again, if you want it to be very, um, broad and say, we love house music or we love hip hop music or, uh, we love country music, whatever the case may be, you can do that as well. You can do that with an add your own. You can put YouTube links in here as well. Um, and we give you a lot of freedom within this. But, you know, understand that with our professional judgment, we can build off your list and, and really make it for uh, a perfect wedding for everybody. So, um, top hits is located right here. It's going to show you your top 200 hits currently. So, this is like a national type of survey that um, gets updated um, frequently. So you can actually preview the songs within the system and Here come back news, talking this and that. So that's pretty cool. You can preview the music that you're listening to and you can actually drag and drop it into a certain playlist. Um, or if you wanted to add it just like this, you can do that as well. Um, go through the decades, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, whatever, whatever you like. These are the top songs within those different categories. Um, top wedding songs are in here, first dance if you needed some help with that. Again, you can preview the songs, Bride and Father, Groom and Mother, all the different songs are within this category right here. Um, you don't have to basically stay within this list. Um, again, we like to customize your wedding or, or your event and um, at our finals meeting we'd like to discuss all that music and use the laptops that we actually DJ with and, and really hone down in, on your music tastes and really make it... Uh, customized towards you and your and your likes. If you want to add or search different songs, again, Pitbull comes to mind. All of his songs come right up. And there you go, Anthem. Add to my must play and your request is saved. It's really, really simple. So that's our music um, request portal right there. All right, so welcome back. Here's our chapter discussing the formalities planner. This one specifically is going to be about weddings. If uh, weddings don't pertain to you, you can just skip over this chapter right here. Um, we also have a specific one towards Sweet 16s as well. Um, so here's the planning portion. You click that button right there, plan my event, and you'll see right here there's a wedding formalities planner. I'm going to click edit. And this is a, uh, a custom sheet created by us here, the team at Mystical Entertainment Group. And throughout the course of the years, we've had to change it and kind of 
you know, add different portions to uh, really coincide with the times. I mean, specifically right here, wedding hashtag. It seems like at this point, every single wedding has a hashtag. Um, if you need help creating a hashtag, weddingwire.com has a, a hashtag creator. You can just Google it. It's awesome. You can check that out. It'll really help you make one of those uh, really cool, funny hashtags. Um, so here we go. So here's all of your information. Basically, we're going to start from the top. Um, we feel that some of this stuff might change, so we like to reiterate it because throughout the course of a year, stuff could change. You might want to uh, coincide your ceremony start time with sunset or, um, you know, make your ceremony or your cocktail start later. You know, stuff could change after, after you're signing the contract uh, a year before. So basically, you put in all this information, and then to start off things, your MC interaction level. Um, we like to treat it a little bit differently, and, and everything that we do at this company, at Mystical Entertainment, is, is customized. So starting right from the top, you can really hone down on uh, how much interaction you want your MC to, uh, to use in his performance. So basically, I mean, if we had to really categorize how we typically perform, I'd say it's moderate. Um, we interact as needed and like to do music due to talking as well. But if you wanted somebody to be low key, um, you know, you can do a low key approach where basically, you know, make announcements and and uh, very minimal interaction and let the music do the talking. If you want somebody on the other end of that spectrum, high energy, pulling grandma out of her chair, you could also select that. All up to you. So if uh, if you're not doing bridal party introductions, you just select no, and and this whole sheet is. Uh, pretty much null and void. But if you are, which 95% of our weddings do, basically everything is here. So uh, again, with the fully custom customized approach, we're gonna go through every single detail of your wedding. And I know looking at it right now, it could get overwhelming, but throughout the course of the year, you have plenty of time to plan. So right here, we'll start off with the parents. Um, we understand that there could be situations where, where there's divorce and everything. Um, we'll, we'll help you throughout that process as well. Um, but in the meantime, you can select different songs for these introduction portions so we can reflect the personalities of your parents, your bridal party, song for your bridal party. We could select the song for each couple if you wanted to, or one song or two songs for the entire bridal party. Um, bride and groom, how you guys come out, what song you come out to, at what point you're going to come out to that song, um, your first dance, same thing how long you wanted to dance to that song. So these are all the details that we're going to go through on your finals meeting. So at the finals meeting, we're going to write down the names phonetically so we don't mess any of that stuff and we pronounce uh, everybody's names correctly. Um, we're going to discuss the timing of music. Typically right here for the parents, we suggest two choruses and out. Um, it's totally suffice. Nobody really wants to see you spinning in circles with mom and dad for four and a half minutes. Um, but again, if uh, you want to dance to the whole song, we're going to go through all those details and we'll actually have our laptops that we DJ with at our finals meeting. Um, which We could do the meeting on, this, on Skype or in person, even do it on the phone if you wanted to. But typically we like to do that in person. Um, blessing, toast, cake, garter bouquet. This portion I would say uh, about 40% of our couples are actually doing the garter bouquet. Um, it's, I don't want to say it's dying, but... Um, you know, some people just want to party and, and nix that to, to maximize the party time. So basically, if you wanted to do your cake cutting, we put, uh, pick a song. And again, we want to just reflect your personalities to make sure this is customized to you and not um, a wedding like you went to two weeks before this. Um, if you wanted to remove the garter bouquet, we suggest that you could do an anniversary dance. So this portion right here is basically, we'll get all the couples out on the dance floor to dance to a slow song and the bride and groom remain on the dance floor the entire time and basically we start calling couples out so if you're married a year or less we tell you to find your seats five years ten years fifteen twenty until we find a couple that's married the longest and then you know we get on the microphone we say a big round of applause for grandma and grandpa they're married for 62 years or whatever it is and um, we ask them if they have any words of advice because they're obviously the pros at this wedding stuff and um, it works out to be a really good heartfelt moment. So it's a cool addition, good substitute. You can actually give the bouquet to them if you wanted to as well, um, if you decided not to do the, the garden bouquet. Um, moving forward, our vendors, we like to have a vendors list right over here just because we feel that, um, you know, if we speak to these other vendors ahead of time, we could actually plan even further. So let's just say, for example, uh, 
you guys want a group shot of the bride's family, um, you know, riling up a bunch of drunk people at a wedding is going to take some, some time. So basically what we want to do is we want to make sure that we plan ahead of time so we can maximize your dance time. You know, so we'll help them gather up these shots and, you know, again, proper planning makes for a perfect party. Um, ceremony, if we're providing music for your ceremony, all of that is located here. Again, with the customization, we like to, to sit down and hone in on what really ticks, what makes you guys tick as a couple, um, and pick the, the right type of music for this portion. So basically, what we always suggest is maybe we could do a little theme, we could do like a, uh, maybe uh, an 80s love song theme, you know, the soundtracks from all the 80s movies are pretty badass. Um, if not, you know, maybe mob hits, maybe Sinatra, maybe Buble, maybe uh, classical, you know, so we'll sit down and we'll really hone in on that perfect music selection. Um, song for the groom, groomsman, bridal party, a song for the bride, and then your recessional song, all that's pretty self-explanatory. And then right here we have our photo montage, so basically if we're making a photo montage for you, it's included with uh, most of our TV packages. And um, basically, full name of the bride is going to be your maiden name, full name of the groom right here, both of your dates of birth. So we kind of break it down into three sections. It'll be the bride's pre-groom pictures, the groom's pre-bride pictures, and then your pictures together. Um, basically, the first slide will show um, of each section will have your birth date and your maiden name, um, a song for each portion, and then uh, any special instructions will be right here. So. For example, if you wanted to add maybe an engagement video of how you proposed, you can do that, you know, and add some instructions there where we can add that. Um, any other notes you could add here, maybe special anniversaries or, uh, or anything like that. Sorry about that. So any other notes you could add right here could be a special anniversary or anything like that. You could pop that right in here for checking out our explainer video on Mystical Entertainment Group's login portal. Um, this portion of the video will be explaining the Sweet 16 formalities planner. So again, if um, you need to access your login portal, you can go to nedjs.com, click right at the bottom at the login to your VIP planner account. It's right there. Or if you want to access it directly, um, clientlogin.me or any of the emails that we've sent to you for your, uh, your username and password. So your planning form, your Sweet 16 form is located right here. Click on edit and all of the details are right on the screen. So introductions, if there will be an introduction, name of the guest honor, who should be, uh, shall be escorted by, um, what song they'll be using for the grand introduction, if there's any other members that are going to be introduced, maybe a court, parents, um, family members, anybody you could list right in here. If there's a dance with dad or mom, for that matter, we can do that all in this portion. And the 16 candles will be right over here. So um, for the most part, we'll be playing the best part of the songs that are listed on each of the candles. But if there's a specific part of that song that you wanted, um, you can just leave a little marker right here um, with, uh, with a time note. Um, if there's any notes, maybe a special birthday announcement or anniversary or anything like that, you can pop that stuff right in here. Um, and that's pretty much it for the Sweet 16 planning portion. 